Hi, I'm Zach with FishOceansEast.com, and today I'm going to show you the rig and setup to catch giant speckled trout on live bait with a slip bobber. The tackle needed is going to be a very small bobber. You want to use a small one because the trout can actually feel a larger bobber as they take it under and they'll let it go a lot of times. So we have a small bobber with a black stopper that's going to hit on the rubber stopper. We have a 3 8 ounce barrel sinker. Little rubber grommets or bobber stops made by Eagle Claw. And you have the option of using a one aught octopus hook or a one aught octopus circle hook. We're going to use 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, approximately two foot of leader, and a very small barrel swivel. The first step is to take your main line, we're using 12 pound test mono here, and take your rubber grommet here. They have little wire hoops on each individual one onto a button. So we're going to pick one, this red one here. We're going to run our line through the hoop. And then we're going to grab the rubber grommet and we're going to pull on the button. And what it's doing is folding the line over and pulling the rubber stopper onto your main line. So that, after that, we discard that, put it back in our tackle box. And we have a rubber stop that can be slid up and down the line. We're just going to stop it there, about a foot up. Then we're going to take our slip bobber, and this part you want the black piece facing up because it is going to stop on the rubber stopper. So we're going to take the line and feed it through. So we come out the other side. What happens is your bobber is going to stop on that rubber piece. Next, we're going to take our weight. And then we're going to tie it onto our swivel. So our finished product here has our rubber grommet above a very small bobber with a stopper on it. 3 8 ounce egg weight, barrel swivel, and 2 feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader to your hook. Once that's set up, we can set the depth of how deep your bait is going to go right here. You just pull or slide the rubber grommet up and count however many feet you want your bait set at. This method of live baiting speckled trout is very deadly, uh, especially in December, January, and February in the Elizabeth River, the Cove, or the Hot Ditch. Uh, live gudgeons or mud minnows seem to be the best bait. If you can find live mullet, they work very well. Now the main, the main mistake a lot of people make is they don't fish their baits deep enough. So you want to fish, make your stop go to 8 foot at low tide and 12 foot at high tide. Fish are actually down deeper. And as soon as you get the bite and you see your bobber go under, you want to just start winding. You, know, you don't need to set the hook or anything. The speckled trout have very soft mouths. And uh, don't get frustrated, you will miss a lot of fish. But just deploy about six, six rods, spread them out and you'll catch some big ones, you'll get some bites. Thanks for watching, I'm Zach at fishoceansease.com.